Singleton pattern comes under the creational pattern category. It's about the creation of the objects. As clear from the word itself, singleton pattern help us to ensure that a class has only one instance and provides a global point of access to it. That's the whole intent behind the singleton design pattern. In other words, it guarantees that there will only be one instance of a class created during the runtime of an application, and that instance can be accessed by all other parts of the application that need to use it. Now, you may ask, why do we want to do that? Singleton design pattern is commonly used in scenarios where there is a need for only one instance of a particular class to exist throughout the lifetime of an application. Like in the case of resource sharing or in the case of configuration management, for the logging purpose, for the logging objects, for the thread pools, for caches, for dialog boxes, and all those scenarios. These are the scenarios where if we would instantiate more than one object, we can run into all sorts of problems like unpredictable program behavior, overuse of resources, inconsistent results, etc. So the big question before the creators of this pattern was that how we can ensure that a class has only one instance and that instance is easily accessible as well. A global variable makes an object accessible, but if it does not keep you from instantiating the multiple objects. So an idea came to their mind that what if we make the class itself responsible for keeping track of its sole instance? The class can ensure that no other instance can be created by intercepting the request to create new objects. And it can provide a way to access the instance. And that's how the singleton pattern got created. So the implementation of the singleton pattern is basically a three-step process. The singleton pattern typically involves defining a private constructor and a static method that returns the single instance of the class. The static method checks whether an instance of the class has already been created and if not, it creates one. The instance is then stored in a private static field of the class and subsequent calls to the static method return the same instance. That's the simple and a three-step implementation of the singleton design pattern. Now you must be wondering why we are using the static keyword here for everything from the instance of the class to the public accessor of that instance. So the singleton design pattern used a static method or the static field to provide the access to the single instance of the class for three main reasons. The first reason is that the use of a static keyword ensure that there is only one, is one instance of the class created during the lifetime of the application. As you know, that is static keyword ensure that only one copy of that member exists in the memory. And this makes it easy to control the behavior and state of the singleton instance, as all parts of the application will be accessing the same object. The second reason is the global access. By defining a static method or field, the singleton instance can be accessed globally from any part of the application. This eliminates the need to pass the instance around between different objects, making the code simpler and more concise. And the third most probable reason for the singleton pattern to use a static keyword is lazy instantiation. By using a static method to access the singleton instance, the instance can be lazily instantiated. That is, it is only created when it is first needed. 
This can help to reduce the memory uses and improve the performance by avoiding the creation of unnecessary objects. And since our constructor is private, we will need a static method reference to instantiate the object that can be accessed directly with the class name. It is important to note that the use of static methods and fields can introduce some issue with the threat safety and testability as well. So a proper care needs to be taken while implementing the singleton pattern to ensure that these issues are addressed appropriately. So singleton design pattern is the simplest design pattern that we have. Only if you have a good understanding about the static keyword, you will be able to understand it in a more simpler way. And that's why the class diagram of this design pattern is the most simplest. It only talks about a static instance of the class and then providing a static getter method to access that instance of the class and to create that instance if it does not exist. That's all for the singleton design pattern.